hey guys welcome back to my channel so today you guys are cooking with me i am gonna make fried yam and chicken wings so i do love this recipe a lot it might be a little hot for some people but then if it's too hot for you, you can always add um tomato paste or tin tomatoes to like reduce the intensity of the heat or you can add more onions so i want to take you guys through the ingredients but before i do that if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this so here's my chicken has been washed and then i cut everything into two and took out um any feathers or extra wings that can still be on the chicken and i've washed it and everything so usually because i'm just making this for tonight when you buy the kilo it comes a lot like this but because i'm just making this for tonight i'm gonna use um i actually use just three wings and i divide it into two so i guess six each but what i'm gonna do with the ones i'm taking into the freezer though i'm going to still season and marinate marinate it and then put it into the freezer so next time i want to cook when i take it out all i have to do is the first day and then i'll just fry it i don't have to wash and do all those things again so that's a quick tip for you guys so yeah um i do have two types of onions about okay three types of onions i have the let me pull this thing down i have the the shallots oopsie i have the shallots which i'm only going to use just a little bit of that and then i have the red onions which i'm going to blend with the pepper and then this i'm just going to start the stew with so i do have oil as well this is vegetable oil and also i have miss cookie spices the ginger mix and then there's a kelly william mix um i'm using the kelly william mix because it has pepper and it is going to make it more spicy for me so yeah that's why i'm using it then i have my mixture of spices so let me take you guys through this is leftover maggi i don't like to use a full maggi anyway this is salt which i'm probably gonna use just a little bit of because i don't really like salt um this is huintia or if you're not Ghanaian, you can search um urethian pepper and then it will give you it looks like cloves but then it's not really cloves and then this is um, rosemary this is the the leaves and then this is rosemary grinded i'm gonna use all of that so here i have inkatinkit i don't know the english name for inkatinkit but i'm sure if you google it you can find it and then there's adobe um i think it's a veggie mix or something then this is onga three in one garlic ginger onion so yeah i'm gonna put a bit of this on everything that is the two like the separate um chickens i'm gonna put half half of this on all of that so yeah um now that we're done with the ingredients and i do have a yam that i've cut already it's in the freezer so i'll show you guys that later so i'm gonna put half of this i mean a pinch because this is just a little something for myself and I don't like too much salt, so. Because the Maggi already has salt in it. So that's fine. And then the rest is going to go. The rest is going to go into the one for the freezer because that's a lot. Now this, I'm just going to put in my sauce, so I'm not going to add that to the chicken. And here we go. So we're going to leave this for later. I'm going to add my Miss Cookie. Just about a teaspoon should work for me. And this, I'm gonna do like two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Now this is supposed to be for Kelly Willy, but I like using it for chicken because this is actually very spicy. It has um, pepper in it, so that is gonna go in as well. And now we're gonna go in with our hands and you wanna marry so everything So I started together. to add some, um, what's it called? Garlic and um, ginger. Cause I wanted to use the Miss Cookie blend, but I did, I realized I am running out and I need a lot. <laughs> 
the little bits of it that I have, I needed to cook quinto ray tomorrow, so I'm going to have to sacrifice and go through the process of peeling and blending and then sacrifice that for tomorrow. So I'm going to blend this with the mixture. So you don't want to add too much water. So yeah, this is just the amount of water I'm going to use to blend. So I'm going to add some oil. So I decided to blend some large green pepper, so I just um, chopped it into chunks that I can blend. So I'm going to add this to the stuff and blend in. Add some oil. Add some oil. I don't know about you guys, so when you live in an African home, nothing goes to waste. So after you blend everything, you want to add a little bit of water and just, you know, go through the blender and pour any excess. So now my blender is almost clean before washing. so it actually cooks before we add in the spices so if you feel this will be too peppery for you you can always add tin tomatoes but then you want to add tin tomatoes after you've added your onions and your garlic and ginger blend then you can go ahead and add your tin tomatoes then later you add your pepper mixture so i don't like the whole Ten tomatoes um, aspects because I do like things that are actually very very spicy. So this is fine for so me. This is what it's looking like blending it, it with the onions and the green pepper is going to reduce the. It's about to cook the hotness a little bit. You're going to so start I'm smelling okay. the aroma. I'm going to start heating my oil now. Um, so start you want to keep stirring my yam. yam. I'm going to fry my yam first. I want you guys to listen to the boiling though. Hey, sorry. So I'll have this on the fire for about five minutes now, and you want to constantly keep stirring it so it can cook like really fast. Because the thing with stew is, if you don't stir it, all the water is going to be on top, and then the residue is going to be down. So it's going to make it hard for the water to evaporate. And you actually need the water to evaporate so your stew can be done really fast. So yeah.
I set that aside. Now I'm just gonna put my wings in the oil. Brown, but I'm gonna put it even more brown, like I need to turn it on the fire. Because now I can turn it a little now and then. So, because I want it to be very crispy, so I'm gonna put it in So it's gonna keep browning, but then it's not gonna burn. Like if you guys are making this, just no, trust me on it. As long as you're standing by it, it and you're turning every so once in a while, it's not so gonna burn. It's time so. for me to take it off. You wanna it press it, it and then listen to the sound. <laughs> this means there's still like a lot of water in it. You wanna leave it for a while. So this is our sauce done. The oil has come on top of it beautifully. So I did burn it a little bit. This is how crispy I couldn't get it was the chicken <laughs> over the the, the boiling oil to stir it. So, but it didn't, it doesn't so taste burnt, so I'm fine. So I'm now what I'm gonna, gonna do is I'm gonna dip in the sauce. No, take it out and set it. <laughs> Dip the chicken in. So I'm going to sprinkle my chopped um, shallots. I almost said shallots. Oh my god, shallots on the the wings, and we're done. It's time for us to eat. Our yam is also crispy, so we're just 